Hello dear friends, welcome to Shiksha Mantra and in Shiksha Mantra today we have the next part of our discussion of adverbial particles. Yes dear friends, we have already discussed about adverbial particles, what they are and how we may get ourselves uh, rid of the confusion between prepositions and adverbs. We have all these discussions but we have declared that uh, it's it's very important to learn the structures which is involved with adverbial particles and there we have told you that we are going to have a little discussion regarding the structures involved with adverbial particles and that's what we are going to do today so stay tuned with this discussion till the end would have 10 very vital points here to discuss and with that would get a mastery over the adverbial particles, their formation, structures and sense. So let's begin our discussion here in Shiksha Mantra. So let's uh, begin our discussion here with this first rules that gets uh, connected with the formation of sentences by using adverbial particles. Yes, dear friends, the simplest form of using an adverbial particle is to use it with a verb. So what we are going to do here, we are going to use a verb. And according to our discussion, read this, the simplest form of using adverbial particles. We are talking of the very basic thing. And what is this? To use it with a verb. So, there is also an example. Won't you sit down? So, down this one. This is an adverb and obviously you know it, this is not a proposition. Though sometimes you get confused whether it's an adverb or a proposition. But believe me dear friends, here you don't have anything to confuse, to get confused of. There's nothing to get confused. It's very simple. It's an adverb and it's used directly with a verb. And this is the most easy one. This is the simplest way of using adverbial particles. And it's also very, very obvious. And you know it, where we use them? We use them in phrasal verbs. Yes, dear friends, there we face them. So this is the first, very first point of our discussion of adverbial particles. Now we would shift to the next point of our discussion of adverbial particles. So, let's shift to it. Yes, dear friends, here we are in the second rules of our adverbial particle structure. The adverbial particle may be followed by a proposition. Yes, dear friends, it's, it's very, very important. Here, I would uh, like to tell you one thing. It would be better if you get a notebook and a pen and write down whatever I am saying here. It would be of much use if you write them down. Just these are the points which you have to follow to get better to find something extraordinary from here, this particular discussion. So let's begin it. So sometimes an adverbial particle may be followed by a proposition. The confusing uh, point here. No? Proposition and adverbs, they are confusing. And here we are saying that verbial particles might be followed by a proposition. But how it is possible? Let's have a look at the example. We must push on with our task. Look, we must push on. So this is an adverb and this is not a proposition. But this adverb gets conjugated with with and this is a proposition, dear friends. Now, if you 
really push it hard how to get which one is the preposition and which one is the adverb you are going to get confused there's nothing to get confused regarding this just follow it it's a verb and on it comes right after the verb and together they form a sense push on we must push on with our task so we uh, obviously have to read it properly it's not we must push on with our task if you read it like this obviously you are going to get confused this is not the proper way to read it the proper way to read it is we must push on with our task so with our task this is the noun phrase which uh, gets connected with the rest of the sentence by the preposition with so this is how we may use adverbial particles and then there might come a proposition so this is the uh, discussion that uh, where we are yes uh, this is actually the second point of our discussion and now things would get complicated as we shift to the third point of our discussion and here uh, special attention is needed just listen to it very attentively because from here the rules is going to shift a gear i would uh, discuss about it what gear i'm talking of and how it can be very simple for you to decide whether it would be placed uh, uh, somewhere or here where it is because the position of adverb in a sentence is very very important as you know it so when the position of adverb is important obviously the position of adverbial particle is also important and we have to remember it we have to use it properly so how it can be done let's look at the third rules when the object of the verb is a noun or a short noun phrases so there we have the option a noun or a short noun phrases with adverbial particle either follow or precede the objects so you have two options here when the object of the verb is a noun or a short noun phrase this is very very important you have to keep it in focus we are talking of short noun phrases so there you have two options either it follow or proceed that doesn't matter so how will it be bring them in bring them in so in this is the adverbial particles we are talking of and obviously then this is the object to the verb bring so bring them in so this is the object this is the verb now you have two options bring in them or bring them in you may use any put your shoes off now it's a noun phrase this is only a pronoun or you may say it's a noun but here it's a noun phrase your shoes off and this is the adverbial particle and uh, your shoes off this is the object for the verb put now you have two options put off your shoes that would also do that would also meaningful put off your shoes or put your shoes off both will work but here you have to remember one thing we are talking of short noun phrases now you may ask me sir why are you focusing so much on the word short 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 because i want to make things simple for you once you find out this short noun phrase when i shift to the next part of this rule you would understand why i have put so much importance to the word short okay so let's uh, shift to the next section of our rules uh, so that uh, it would be easier for us to find out what's waiting for us in our discussion so here we are in the next rules of our discussion and it's nothing but a continuation of the third rules that we have discussed in the previous uh, slide 
So here also we are going to discuss about adverbial particles and they may precede. Look, here we haven't say either precede or followed. We have said here it would precede. What to proceed? The direct object. When it is a noun or a short noun phrase. There we were talking of objects. But here we are talking of short objects, again short objects, but direct object. So she gave away her old books. She gave away her old books. If you think of the last discussion, there in the third rules of our structure, we have learned about indirect objects. The rules was uh, regarding the indirect object. Now we are talking of direct object. When it's direct object, you can't put it after the object. It would be before it. That's the rules. She gave away. So this is our adverbial particles away. She gave away her old books. Look, old books, direct object. We have a direct object here and it's a noun phrase, but short noun phrase. Again, I'm repeating it's a short noun phrase. Everything will change later. Just here, remember, it's a short noun phrase used as the direct object. And here we would put the adverbial particles before the object okay so this is the third rules of our discussion and now we would shift to another very very important part of our discussion a very important rules that is involved here regarding the constructions of the adverbial particles and now here it is the fourth one when yes when the direct object is long probably you have got it why i was uh, actually uh, emphasizing the word short so vividly why i was telling short noun phrases short noun phrases now here we are talking about direct object but it's long it's not short like what we have faced there so the adverbial particle normally follows the verb immediately. When the direct object is long, the adverbial particle normally follows the verb and immediately. How it is? Let's find out in the example. Why don't you put on those green shoes you bought? Put on. This is the adverbial particle. It follows the verb and it is placed immediately after the verb because this is the object. Those green shoes you bought, it's a long object. It's not a short object. And for the long objects, you can't put the adverbial particles after it. And remember one point, dear students. It's not for adverbial particles only, but also for adverbial phrases and whatever is involved with adverbs. If the object is long, obviously you have to put the adverb right after the verb. Closer to the verb, you have to put the adverb always. If it's a single noun or a single pronoun or a very short noun phrase, there will be any problem. You may put it after the object. But whenever it's long, for any long object, the adverb must be placed before the object right after the verb. And if you remember this, this long and short concept, long and short, long and short, remember it. Long, you can put further. Short, you can. So for long, you have to place it before the ob object. And for short object, you may proceed with the rules, whatever you have learned, because there you have the option to put the adverb after the object. So this is what involved with this rules. And uh, here I, I can assure that uh, if you follow this simple trick, there won't be any confusion and you won't make any mistake in your discussion of 
adverbs in your formation of sentences with adverbial particles and here we have the fifth rules and this rules is very very important why i'm coming to this when you read these rules you will understand it all by yourself the adverbial particles may be have front position in exclamatory sentences yes dear friends i'm talking of front position why front position front position means sometimes you form sentences where the adverb is placed right at the beginning of the sentence that's why front position is so very important now why i'm involving it with front position uh, that would be uh, better if we discuss it with some examples but remember two points here we are talking of exclamatory sentences and in exclamatory sentences these adverbial particles sometimes appear in front position these sentences are very very beautiful so let's uh, have a look at these sentences and find whether it would be of any use to us or not so let's begin our discussion the first rules of exclamatory sentences with the adverbial particles in frontal position if the subject of the sentence is a personal pronoun yes dear friends this is the point if the subject is a personal pronoun the order will be particle then personal pronoun and then verb just a fixed set of rules you have to follow this structure only particle personal pronoun verb so how they go off they went that means they went off off they went so what does it mean it mean they went off now when you say they went off the impact of the sentence is not like that it's not an exclamatory sentence now we want to make it an exclamatory sentence we want to uh, produce the sentence with some extra effort so what we will do here we'll put the adverbial particle at the beginning of the went away it flew and you would get this and this is the first point we would get three points here and this one is the first point of our discussion regarding the frontal position of adverbial particles and here we proceed with the second rules that's also equally important and interesting if the subject is a noun or a pronoun so now this time we are doing with the subject which is a noun or a pronoun other than the personal pronoun yes you got it because we have already discussed about the rules for personal pronouns in the previous uh, slide probably you have written it as well i'm repeating it please write them down these rules are very very important you have to write them down and remember so this time we are also talking about nouns and pronouns used as the subject of the sentence but obviously here the pronouns are not the personal pronouns we have to drop it so what would be the rules the rules would be the structure will be particular position of the particle at the front of a sentence so the particular position is the frontal position of the particle everywhere we'll get the particle in the front position this time it would be particle plus verb plus subject so away flew my heart away look adverbial particle at the beginning then flew the verb and my heart this is the subject so this involves the second rules regarding the frontal position of adverbial particles in our sentence and we are very much at the end of our discussion and this is also a very very important part of our discussion the particles are also used with verbless expression are you shocked just tell me write it down in the comment section below if you are really shocked listening to this we are forming a sentence without any verb it's a verbless expression and we are telling that this is a grammatical sentence in english we are producing a verbless expression and we consider it as grammatically correct 
Yes, dear friends, don't forget we are talking of exclamatory sentences. There it's possible how it goes. Particle then comes with, then noun or pronoun. So how, uh, how do we do this? Away with them. Away with them. Look, away, adverbial particle. Then comes with and then the noun or the pronoun. That means here pronoun, them. So this is the sentence. But what does it mean? It means take them away. Way with them means take them away. So this is how we may use a verbless expression for exclamatory sentences with adverbial particles at the frontal position and that's it. That's the discussion regarding our construction that gets involved of adverbial particles. That's how we can use adverbial particles in our sentences. But remember dear friends, let me sum up one thing. It's, it's very, very important. Whenever you are going to discuss adverbial particles, you have to remember that this frontal position is the most beautiful one. For the formation of sentences with adverbial particles, the construction that involves some challenges and that involves a beauty, beauty of your sentence that gets it in exclamatory sentences with adverbial particles in the frontal position and that's it. That's all from this discussion. We are returning very soon with another discussion like this or some very interesting one, a very interesting and unknown, very, very little discussed chapters of English grammar. So we are returning very soon. Till then, bye-bye. Happy learning.